Hello everyone and welcome to another Tamagotchi Uni video. This time I'm going to be taking a look at the latest and greatest Tamagotchi Arena event over in the Tamiverse. Now you can see I've got my pink Tamagotchi and my purple Tamagotchi Uni and uh, this one has the region set to Japan, in the language set to Japanese, and this one is my Oceania edition. <laughs> Rather, I have chosen Oceania and is in English. I don't know why I said edition there, uh, just for clarity's sake. They're all the same. You just choose the region or the language when you boot, as I've previously shown in other videos. So let's check out this new event. So it's called Bunny Hop, which... It feels like it's kind of weird timing. We do, of course, have the autumn event because it's autumn in the Tamagotchi world because it's, I guess, based of, uh, after the uh, Northern Hemisphere rather than the uh, whatever region you chose, which, again, is kind of a weird thing. So we do have the autumn matching game, which is fairly annoying. I'm pretty bad at it because um, my memory is really bad. And you match a bunch of uh, fruit underneath the autumn leaves and uh, you only get to memorize that and then it's all covered up. So that's the event. It's I'm pretty bad at it. So I can't say whether it's a bad game, but I am bad at it. In terms of the event, it is a bunny hop event, which, yes, my point was that while that game fits the Northern Hemisphere season, uh, the the bunny hop game does not. So let's check out the uh, the mail, which I'm sure is a notification of the event. Yeah, it's instructions on uh, the bunny hop game, which just sounds like Doodle Jump from the uh, old iPhone games. So let's take a look and see how bad I am at this game. So let's go to Tamiverse and check it out. So yeah, the fact that it's called Bunny Hop uh, and it looks very uh, Easter in theming feels kind of weird timing. It is spring in the Southern Hemisphere where I am. Oh, that's the wrong option. But I, uh, I I still don't really associate bunnies with spring. I associate uh, variable weather with spring. I associate flowers with spring. Not so much bunnies, but again... We don't really have bunnies in uh, in Australia as much. We have them, but they're considered pests. So it's not really like a... And they're like brown ones, not like the traditional Easter white ones. But Easter is very much a, uh, a thing that happens. And that's when I kind of associate bunnies with. But that is in, in our autumn. So not in our spring. So yeah, it feels like a weird uh, timing to have this event. It honestly feels like they should have waited for, uh... yeah, I don't know why I started these at the same time, but I always notice that the pink one seems to load faster. I'm wondering if that's because there's, there's in Japanese, there's less text than in the English version to say the same thing. And now I'm going to have severely out of sync audio between these two. So the theming for the teams, whereas last time for the racing event that was pink and purple, this time it is peach or grape. So I'm going to go peach on the pink one, grape on the purple one. Join grape, join peach, yes. So it is... Kind of funny that it's always colored theming. It's similar to Splatoon Splatfest, I guess, how it's always a certain color that has something to do with it, but it's always going to be pink and purple. So let's join the game. I'm going to, uh, despite everything within my being telling me to not, I'm going to try to see if I can do two at once. Also, I just want to see if uh, my character will show up on the other one. And... Oh, just because I picked opposite ones. No, the answer is no. 
So again, it's not online. They're more like uh, ghosts of other players or not real people, which again is kind of a shame. Also, I should mention it that this event just started yesterday, but I'm actually going to be... Real I probably should have read the instructions, hey? Uh, oh, it's, it's, it's out of sync. Oh gosh, it is Doodle Jump. Yeah, this is actually not a game that you want to, uh... Actually, I think the best way is just to button mash because... Oh, never mind. So yeah, I'm really bad at these games. I'm um, even worse when I'm trying to play two at once. Don't know what uh, inspired me to do that. Laziness, I guess. Well, I have to do them both, so I may as well do them both at the same time, I thought. But uh, yeah, so I will be releasing this video. I'm kind of uh, building up a backlog because I've got a lot of dog shows coming up. So I'm not going, I I'm going to try to get as many videos as possible. So by the time I release this, unless I change anything, I will be uh, releasing this once the event is actually over. And my reason for that is that I could have just not done a video, but... I want, just in case these events are super limited, I want video footage of whatever the event is. Yeah, look, I had uh, I had friends, I had many people say that this is a, uh, a hard game, so I'm, and I'm bad at games in the best of times, but especially when I'm, uh, yeah, I think button mashing is honestly the way to go because I'm having more luck when I'm not paying attention. This is just doodle jump. This is... Even though Doodle Jump was using a touchscreen, wow, I'm terrible. I love how far ahead you can see the other people are on the pink one. What is the point of that? It doesn't give... Because I even remember spaceships being in Doodle Jump. Like, it's... I'm bad at everything. I feel like this game would be better with a, a touchscreen. Again, that's how Doodle Jump was. I'm... Wow, I'll take a drink every time I say the word doodle jump in this uh, recording, and I apologize. See, so yeah, I'm really bad at this game. I was actually kind of good at doodle jump. Oh my gosh, I said it again. Well, I did better on the purple one, but uh, everyone else did better than me. I'm terrible at this. So, you get prizes depending on how many days you play. You don't get all prizes if you complete in all ones. You only get, like, you get the seven-day one for completing seven days, the six-day one for completing six days, and you don't get any, uh, you don't get any previous rewards. And then the winning team, if you're on the winning team, you get 5,000 gotcha points. At least that was the case for the previous Tamarine event. So, yes, by the time you're watching this, this event has probably finished. It started on the 12th. And I believe it finishes after about a week, same as the last time. So, again, if you're watching this, the event's done. But I figured it'd be better than to do a little video on this event. And you can kind of watch other people playing. And I noticed that they're actually good at this game, not like, uh, not like me. So, that's the, uh... The current Tamiverse event. So first we had the racing game, which I think I preferred the racing game. It felt like there was a lot more going on. You jumped over obstacles. Okay, I didn't get it on this one because I've already done a Tamarine event before on this. That makes sense. Uh, so yeah, you jump like that and you use the buttons and you mash and you hold. I felt like it had a lot more going on in the previous Tamarina event. But this one's pretty cool. It's, again... I'm going to say it again, I'm sorry, doodle jump, but uh, just not as uh, intuitive because I liked when you could doodle jump with the, yeah, I said it again, with the touchscreen. So yes, a weirdly uh, timed game to have the bunny hop game in, uh, in September. I'm assuming we might get a Halloween event for October. That'd be pretty cool because Japan and a lot of places in North America, the Northern Hemisphere do like Halloween, so I, I, that would make sense to me. But if it's every two months, they kind of miss the opportunity to do a Halloween event because this is the September event. 
So, again, feels weird placing. I would have put that as a Northern Hemisphere spring event or an Easter event. So, yeah, weird, weird timing there. But in any case, that's it for another video. Let me know your thoughts, comments, questions, etc, etc in the comment section below. Like this video for, I don't know, the fact that somehow this screen hasn't been scratched yet and the purple one was scratched within like, I don't know, I think I looked at it and the screen scratched. The Tammy Uni screens aren't fantastic quality. So in any case, like my video for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have subscribed, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbours. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!